Okay, brothers and sisters, let's continue with these literary forms. These are short figures of speech and figures of comparison. Okay, I forgot to mention that in the last video, the similes. We're talking about figures of comparison. Okay, I said a simile is when something is compared and the word as or like is used. Okay, now a metaphor involves a direct or implied comparison of two unlike things. This is a direct comparison, no as or like here. Okay, first example, Second Samuel, chapter 22, verse 3. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my Savior, speaking of the Lord. My shield, my salvation, high tower, refuge, Savior, no as or like. Um, and basically, I think that this could all be summed up as, you know, he is my, he's my protection and, uh, and my redeemer, more than protection. Um, okay, Psalm 100, verse 3, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Okay, those who trust in the Lord or Israel, um, John 10:16 And other sheep I have which are not of this fold them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd Okay is this speaking of the gentiles coming into the fold possibly I'm not sure the whole context of that chapter The seven I am statements of Jesus in the gospel of John are all metaphors Okay these I am statements are important to know when you are wanting to, when, you know, explaining that Jesus Christ proclaimed that he was God. Because God told Moses, I am that I am. So John 6, 35 says, I am the bread of life. Not like the bread of life or as the bread of life, but I am the bread of life. This is a metaphor, a figure of comparison. John 8:12 I am the light of the world. John 10:9 I am the door. By me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. John 10:11 I am the good shepherd. John 11:25 I am the resurrection and the life. John 14:6 I am the way the truth and the life. John 15:1 I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Okay, now I'm going to check out these other ones. Let's see. Psalm 23, 1. Okay. Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay, Lord, shepherd. That's a metaphor. Jeremiah 2, 13. Jeremiah 2.13 For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. So the Lord's saying that he is the fountain of living waters. Interesting. Okay. Luke 8.21 Luke 8.21 And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. Okay. Mother and brethren are those who hear the word of God. Revelation 1.20 the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. The seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Okay. This doesn't mean that the seven candlesticks actually are the churches, but it, that they represent them. This is a figure of speech, a figure of comparison, a metaphor.
Okay. Now I said in the previous video that a parable is an extended simile and an allegory now is an extended metaphor. Okay. That would be like John 15 when it says, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. And then it goes on to explain more. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. See, it starts off with the metaphor, I am the true vine. Not as or like. This is a metaphor. Beginning with the metaphor, this is an allegory, an extended metaphor. Okay. Now... There was something that wasn't in included in this article that I just included. I found in another PDF that I think is pretty interesting. It's called hypocatastasis. Hypocatastasis. Now, I'm going to go up a little bit and show this here. It talks about metaphor. Okay. Hypocatastasis is a comparison only by implication. Okay. Only one of the two nouns is stated. The other noun is out of sight or under. The effect is very powerful and moving. Okay. Now here's some examples. Here's a simile. He is like a clumsy ox. Or he is as a clumsy ox. A metaphor would be he is a clumsy ox. Or he is an ox in his clumsiness. But a hypocatastasis would just be ox. Okay. Calling someone an ox. Okay. By implication only. Only one of the two nouns is stated. Okay, and I've added this onto my website now. So I'll try to refresh. Well, I guess I didn't save it yet. Oh, I guess maybe I did. Okay, so it should show up then. So here's a metaphor. Here we go. Hypocatastasis. Okay. An example is Judges 14.11, And he said unto them, If ye had not plowed with my heifer, ye had not found out my riddle. Okay. Now, heifer is implying somebody else. I'm not sure of the context of this, so I can't explain that, actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can explain any of these, but Psalm 22.16, For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. So... You know, dogs, you know, the heathen, the wicked, being called dogs here. Not they are dogs, or they are as like or as dogs, just dogs. Hypocatastasis. John 2.19, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. This temple, he is speaking of his body. Okay, implication only. Temple, the body of Christ here. His physical body. So, um, so there's that. For right now, that would complete up the figures of comparison that I have. Um, I don't know if there are more or not, but these are some of the big ones. So, simile, metaphor, and uh, hypocatastasis. So, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.